Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Hope all is well. Hope that you're having a great day. I'm not. I'm not. So let's just keep it pushing. Let's keep it moving. We have to stay focused even when the day is not great. You got to keep smiling. You got to keep your head up and you got to keep doing it. So take some time now. Share this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that follow button down there and subscribe. You can also hit that bell so that you can get instant notification when I release a new video because I try to do one every day so I give you great content. And as always, this is my page. It's my opinion, my point of view on things. We don't always have to agree. You can disagree, but make sure if you comment, make sure you keep your comments cute because while you're doing on the keyboard, you talk crazy to me, you're going to be done wasted time and I'm going to block you. Plain and simple. I don't have the energy, especially not today. I don't have the energy, nor do I want to be bothered with a bunch of negative stuff. This is YouTube. It's a place where vloggers come and they give their opinions on things. So that's just it. Anything can be said on YouTube, anything. But enough of that. Okay. Um, I tried to let this one go and I did a post about it and I have to just, I have to revisit it. This just hilarious, um, the Instagram comedian. I have to come back to this because I knew that there was an apology that she did on her Instagram. And let me say this, she has 4.4 million followers. That's a major platform, a major platform. And I, I'm just really stuck. And so I have to revisit this again and because I have to get it off of me. I have to get it off. So I watched her video. And of course, y'all, I'm always taking notes. I always have notes. So this is what I, I really have an issue with. And I really... Let me just make sure. And I, I, I'm not trying to down her, but I need for somebody else who is growing a platform or going to or already has a platform who watches this to understand what just happened and why I say this. So the first thing that she says she was choked up and she was bothered by the fact that people are thinking that she's a xenophobe or a racist. Now, all of you watched the video, it's there, and I'm gonna repost it in here so that you'll see the video again. Everything that you said on your video was racist. There is no other way around it. That's exactly what it was, was racist. So don't be mad when people come at you. And one of the things she said at the end that I'm gonna bring to the up to the beginning is that she says she, she's apologizing because she was unaware of the Sikh community. Okay. As a black woman, and this is what she brought up in here, she says she should empathize with people who are being racially profiled because as a black woman, she knows that all too well with the current climate of the country. Okay, so the climate didn't just start today. The climate has been going on. So when you started your video, the climate didn't start instantly then and it didn't start after you did your video. The climate had already been, been, been going on and you had already been a black woman in this climate. So what are you talking about? That now that you empathize with them and you feel in some kind of way and you said you didn't do this apology because you got called out, but because you offended a community that you didn't know anything about. Well, basically, it is that you got called out because they spoke out. So what part of not being called out? They called you out because you spoke about them. And yes, you were unaware of them, but in this day and age, you said that you're young and you're ignorant and you don't understand the platform that you have. Baby, they got Google for everything. You can Google every doggone thing before you get on the internet and start opening your mouth and doing stuff. As a black woman, 
as a black woman, then if you empathize, then you shouldn't even be racially profiling nobody. That shouldn't have never, nothing racist shouldn't have ever exited your mouth, exited your tongue. It shouldn't have. You're too old. You're not a child. You're not 10 years old. You're not 13. You are old enough to know, as you stated, the climate of what the country is in right now. So I can't give you a pass for ignorance. So don't say I'm ignorant and I'm ignorant and I'm young and I don't know. Uh, that just that don't sit with me. And it's it's not right. So if you want to be using your platform properly, speak positive stuff when you get on your platform or do jokes that are not going to affect anybody. Because in this day and age, you have to watch who you talk about because there's somebody always who could get offended. And my thing is, when you have a platform, the platform is to be used for good unless you're just Roseanne Barr. That's that. That's who has a platform that is using it totally wrong and it's just totally toxic. That's somebody you don't want to look up to and say that, okay, this is how I'm doing this. Your platform should be that you are encouraging, lifting up, and being positive with funny jokes and, and hilarious jokes as just hilarious. But getting on here and doing anything that will offend somebody... You should have learned from that with Kevin Hart because regardless of what people say and think, Kevin Hart never apologized. CNN did a whole fact checking to see where he apologized. And Don Lemon got on there and said clearly, if you have apologized, show me where it is, show us the video, because CNN went through a whole fact check and went back through all of the media and they could never find nothing. So what Kevin Hart did 5,000 years ago, because that's I'm just gonna make it like it's 5,000 years ago, came back to haunt him today. So what you're doing right now didn't even take that long. What, it was two days and you were in the hot seat? But see, my problem with this young lady is that every time that I have seen this woman, it's because of controversy. You did a homophobic slur against a man because he commented on something in the shade room and you came at him with a racial derogatory slur. That was just unnecessary. There are so many clapbacks and the shade room is the king of showing you the clapbacks because everybody is in the clapback season. That's why I don't understand why people keep getting on people's pages and talking crazy because we are in the clapback season. I understand this is social media and I get that part. But when you did what you did, on your Instagram story, why would you think somebody would not be offended when you were so defensive and you were telling everybody to F you, F you, F you, F you? How dumb are you? No, you can't keep telling everybody to F you, F you, and eat me, eat me, eat me. What the? Go somewhere, get a publicist. That's what you should did. You should have went and got a publicist. So somebody could tell you how to act when you have 4.4 million followers. Go talk to somebody else. Talk to somebody who has several followers because in this day and age with the media, anything can break you down and tear you down for no reason. And my thing is, I really believe, and I may just be wrong, and I don't know it for a fact, but I think the only reason you're really doing this apology now is because the... TV show you on because even your the rail the young man that you're on spoke against you on Twitter even him but the like I said Roland Martin came for you when you got Roland Martin come for you who is all about politics and he stays over there for the most part for him to come for you you had to know you have offended too many doggone people for no ungodly reason okay that's it for me I'm done. I'm going to leave that alone. I got it out of my system. No excuse for ignorance. No excuse for being young. 
Google is there. Find out information before you talk. Watch what you say. Keep your mouth closed, and then you won't end up in these situations. It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. I'm out. Make sure you share, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Chris T. Jones. Y'all have a great day. Peace.